Let's talk about it, man. We got some topics that we got to hit on. Uh, we haven't talked about Izzy's fight. Style Bender took an L uh, trying to get his second belt. He mm -hmm. came up to 205 to fight yeah. the champ, Jan Blahovich. Yeah. Uh, forgive me, Jan, if I'm not pronouncing your fucking name right, but um, <laughs> name's stupid. So <laughs> He was nice, though. So, <laughs> he is, and Izzy even said it afterwards. He was like, he's, if I have to lose to somebody, he's yeah. a great champ. He's gracious. He's yeah. sweet. Like, it's so weird. There are some people that need to get themselves so hyped for those fights mm. that the person in front of them, they have to literally want to kill. Yeah. Right? But Jan seems like this guy, like, he doesn't seem like he'd fight dirty. No. Nope. Seems like he's going to fight by the rules. He understands yeah. it's the fight game. He's going to try to knock you out. Yeah. But he doesn't seem like the guy who would, like, hold you in a choke longer than he needs to. Yeah. Or punch you one extra time after you're down just because. Yeah. And there are motherfuckers in MMA that, like... They will choke you out. You're tapping, and they hold that shit until the ref stops. Right. There are people who see somebody unconscious on the floor and then jump Keep on top. On, yeah. For so he seems like this sweet kind of nice guy, and he fought a fucking brilliant fight against Izzy. He really did. Like he was ready for the leg kicks. Yeah. You know, um, Izzy was trying to catch him with that question mark. Question kick. mark kick. Yeah. Over and over again, he was able to block uh, block it, and um, he beat Izzy fair and square. Yeah. And. It's a bummer, obviously, because that's our guy. Yeah. You know, I spoke to him. He said he's doing good. You know, yeah. It is what it is. Yeah, and like, like he said, uh, you know, like he was saying, dare to be great. And yeah, you should be great. Like right. the guy is coming up 20 pounds. Uh, yeah. Right. To go fight the guy who is the champ, who's been knocking people to fuck out. And as far as I saw, I didn't see Izzy hurt one time during the fight. No, the guy used his weight well, stayed on top of him, yeah. and that was it. But in, but he landed punches yeah. on Izzy. Oh, yeah. But yeah. I didn't see Izzy get stumbled. Like, he was able to handle the power, and Jan was just concussing people. Yeah. yeah. Like, one okay. punch, knockout. Okay. The last few fighters. They okay. fought. I don't know if you saw the last couple of his fights. I, I think i seen one. But, but he was just... He was concussing 220-pound guys. Yeah. Like big, big boys. Big boys. And, and he's, he's getting into boy. that ring at, like, 240, and Izzy's staying 200, probably, it seems. Yeah, I don't know about 240. That'd be a lot of weight to put it's, on. Like, I don't know. I'm throwing on numbers. 205 is where big. they fight at. Yeah, okay. So usually you could probably maybe add, like, another 15 pounds okay. or something I'm an idiot. Like that. I thought the fight was at 220, and then no, he no, stayed. No, no, 205. Like, 185 okay. is what Izzy usually fights at. 205 is where he fights. So... So yeah, so this is there's a couple things that are going on here. Obviously, I'm fucking biased. I want Izzy to win. You yeah. know what I mean? But he did get outpointed. He mm -hmm. he got I thought that Jan's striking was phenomenal. Izzy's one of the best strikers in the history of MMA, right? right. And Jan was able to strike with him effectively. Yeah. Izzy landed his shots. Izzy rocked him a couple times. I thought one time he had him hurt. But Jan was able to be in there, and Jan landed a couple yeah. shots. I thought Izzy was going to absolutely dominate him with the striking, but Jan was going to be big to the point where if he landed, it could hurt Izzy. And it wasn't It wasn't the case. Mm -hmm. Jan was effective with the striking. Right. So what I think happened was um, is th in a weird way, and I know you're going to go, oh, you just capping for your boy, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. <laughs> I think this is the best case scenario for Izzy fighting at 185 pounds. Right. I think this is best case scenario for a couple things. Right. One, where he's dominant at is 185 pounds. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple reasons why he's dominant. One, he just happens to be the best in the world at 185 pounds. Right. But he can use some of his advantages at 185 pounds that right. he doesn't exactly have at 205 with those bigger guys, right? Like at, one, at 185, he's significantly taller and longer than mm -hmm. these guys. So what Izzy can do is he can hop in punching and kicking range and hop out of punching and kicking range whenever he wants while also being out of the range of the person he's fighting. Right. Right. So if you've noticed a few of his last like knockouts, like I've noticed they come from these these lean back hooks. Mm -hmm. Have you seen it? Like he can he dropped Costa yeah, with that yeah. lean back hook. He dropped um what's the other Australian guy that he fought? Robert Whitaker with that lean back hook. Like he just kind of he exchanges, he throws his combination and he leans away from their strike while throwing this kind of like up left hook. It's a really odd punch, mm -hmm. right? But super effective. It's harder to do that against a taller, longer opponent because you have to commit yourself to being in the danger zone more right. than you do against a smaller opponent, right? right? So he's got to take more fights at mm -hmm. that weight mm -hmm. where you're fighting guys that height so he could learn how to be effective in his striking right. without putting himself in too dangerous or too precarious a situation. 